Hey guys, this is Juan from Design for Ventures, and today I'm going to show you something really special. Welcome to the private alpha of our Sketch to React product. What is Sketch to React? Uh, it is a couple of things. Uh, if you go to sketchtoreact.io, uh, our website, then you can read about it. As you see in this awesome giphy giphy here, uh, you just, after you have applied our rules, uh, our framework rules, which is based on a, our own version of Atomic CSS, you just take your sketch file and drop it into our renderer app, preview app. Uh, this is a sketch file that is locally stored on your computer. You drop it here. I can show you how it's done. This is the sketch file. It looks like this in sketch. You do stuff here, magic stuff. Uh, and you actually don't even need our plugin for doing this. Uh, you can just follow our naming conventions here. The plugin helps you uh, by creating all of these folders. Uh, and you can set up things like paddings and margins. You can also go in here and change everything later. No, this is like the strength of this. Um, when you are ready to try it out, just drag drop your prototype. And boom! Looks amazing. Then, you just, if you want, you download HTML versions of each page. Perhaps you want to share your prototype with uh, your client. Uh, or maybe you actually you can create very simple websites this way. We have a little demo here, if you go to uh, this one here, frequently asked questions, um, you have it here, simple demo. This is actually 100% straight out of Sketch. So this we call it vanilla. Uh, and just taking Font Ninja here will show you something magical. We are actually have rendering of Google Fonts here. So that is amazing, actually. Uh, and I'm going to show you, of course, how to do this later on in other tutorials. This is just a overview, introductional video, and everyone is invited. You just go here to our sketch2react.io website, and you just, if you are a human being, no robots are allowed yet. Uh, you go here, you put your name here, and boom, you sign up to our private alpha. And you will get the files you need to kick this off. How beautiful is that? Also, you can go here, you can check out our cheat sheet uh, with uh, uh, things you need to understand. So you can do your own amazing designs in sketch. That's all for me for now. Have a great one. Cheers. I'm back with more cool stuff actually. This I realized today that if you can embed Google fonts or web fonts, of course you can embed icon fonts. You just need to find the uh, CSS or like the distribution link. Yeah, this one is for, for for ion icons, and I love ion icons. And what do we have here? We have actually a icon on a button, and this is also an icon. And this is code, friends. Code, my friends. This is huge because icons are really a big part of what we do. Uh, I use the excellent icon font plugin and once you have it installed you get five really nice icon fonts I really as I said I really like iron icons 
you choose the icons you need to rename them accordingly what we need to do here for example you need to name this one uh, curly brackets text this is dot span uh, so it flows the correct way uh, in this case I just named it renamed it uh, curly brackets text curly brackets and then you can put anything here as long as it makes sense to you is this one that is the important one and I put this one inside a column and it has some padding I can and margins I can do maybe 100 here so it gets pushed down more in code let's go here to our preview wrap again let's do this and you have it there boom also we can you can create media queries uh, for these for the paddings and I will show you that later this is awesome have a nice day